Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will know some new fundamentals of trigonometry. We will know something which is called the unit circle. The unit circle is a normal circle which passes through the points of 1, 1, negative 1 and negative 1 here on the Cartesian product or in other words it's a circle whose radius equals one unit so this is a quarter of the circle we can notice that it passes through one and one one on the x-axis and one on the y-axis in this circle if we draw a triangle whose hypotenuse is intersecting with it at the point C and so there will be a line which lies perpendicularly on the x-axis with 90 degree so the ABC triangle is a right angle triangle on which we can apply the trigonometric rules that we learned previously in our videos here in our triangle, as we learned from before, sine beta equals cosine beta equals this will be angle beta. So sine beta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it equals BC over 1. Alright. So it equals BC and AC equals 1 because AC equals the radius of the circle and since the radius equals 1 so the hypotenuse will also equal 1 because AC and A1 are both red ray of the circle. Cosine data equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse AB over 1. So it also equals AB. Here on the Cartesian product, as this is the Cartesian product, so each point much must have a coordinate. So the point C has a coordinate of B and 3 over 4 at this point is 3 over 4. The coordinates of the point B is B and 0. So, the length of this part equals the length of this part because they are parallel and equal in length. As this is a right angle triangle so, the BC equals 3 over 4. Since the 3 over 4 is the Y coordinate, so we can say BC equals Y. BC equals Y, as it's corresponding to this coordinate. They are equal to each other. Also, here, the AB, this part, equals the X coordinate. So, we will write here X. Because X equals AB and Y equals BC. So, we will write them this way. To prove this law, cosine squared data plus sine squared data equals 1, we will use those two ones. In the right angle triangle, we have a law which says that the hypotenuse square, which is AC, 
equals the square of both of the two lenses other lenses summed together so AC square equals BC square plus AB square and since already the AC equals 1 so this will equal 1 BC equals Y so we will substitute with Y so it will be Y squared AB equals X so AB squared equals X squared and we already know that X equals cosine theta and Y equals sine theta so we can substitute with our new values sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta and this is why cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1 and we type the square after the cosine before the theta between them because here it's related to the value of the sign and not the value of data we must take notice of this point when we write the square for the sign cosine tan cotan any trigonometric function we must write the um, power before the angle after the trigonometric function between them because it's related to the value of the trigonometric function and not the value of the angle because if the if the value of the angle was squared the value of the sine will not be squared so sine theta squared doesn't equal sine square theta and we must take notice of this point so we proved our first law. The second law is very easy to notice. This quadrant is, we know that the Cartesian product, we have orthogonal lines. So this is 90 degree, this is 180, 90 plus 90, this is 270 degrees and this is 360 degrees so we move anti-clockwise anti-clockwise this way like this if we draw this triangle the same one but in this quadrant the quadrant of the 180 degrees it would look like this also we have here B dash and we have C dash the same thing this is a radius so equals 1 and as this equals 1 we have here the x coordinate while well, here the x coordinate is negative so this part will be negative x and here the y coordinate is still positive so it will be y and this is why sine 180 negative data equals sine data because if we subtract the data from 180 and we must also take notice that data is less than or equal 90 degrees data is less than or equal 90 degrees it doesn't exceed this 
So if we say that data, for example, equals 60, then 180 negative 60 gives 120 degrees. And as the 120 degrees lies in this quadrant, it's smaller than the 90 and less than the 270, so it lies in this one. So in this one we have a negative x coordinate and a positive y coordinate. So the value of the sine will remain as if it is in the first quadrant, while the value of the cosine will be negative. And for last to show this, if we have sine 60, for instance, sine 60 equals sine 120. Why? Because sine 120 equals sine 180 negative 60 degree. And the 60 here resembles the data. 180 negative data equals sine data. So, this is it. While cosine next 60 equals negative cosine 120 because 120 equals 180 negative data. So, cosine 60 equals negative cosine 120 because the value of the x coordinate on the left part of the coordinate of the Cartesian product is negative. Also, if you have here an angle which is more than 180 and less than 260, we treat it in this. So, we have both negative values of x and also y. So, it will be negative y. While in the last and fourth quadrant, here we have positive value of x, as this is the x positive part, while the y coordinate will be negative. And so, we knew sine 180 negative data equals sine data and cosine um, 180 negative data equals negative cosine data as we proved now. And this is it for today. The next time we will know how to prove the sine law in the optus angle triangle using this law. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.